Hey, I'm John. What are the real estate sales results for Lake Martin for, through August of 2022? Let's get started. All right, as usual, I start first with waterfront home sales and what has happened. So I want to show you over a three year trend. Now these are waterfront homes like residences, condos, everything. It's in the Lake Martin MLS. That's all agents, all brokerages. This is year to date through August. So what's happened? Um, back in 2020, uh, 2020 the, the uh, uh, Corona year, 314 sales. So what happened in uh, what happened in last year? We dropped to 265. Where are we this year through the end of August? 204 sales, okay? And that is down about 23% from last year. So we're, we're continuing to trend down for sales. Where does that relate with our five-year average? Our five-year average for the, the year to date through August is about 250 sales. So really we're down about 23% from our five-year average. Last year we were just above it. And of course, the Corona year, hey look, everybody knows now the Corona year was an anomaly. But that gives you the, an example of the trend. What, what about inventory? Where are we inventory wise? Because really that was the big, another one of the big stories, right? In 2020, around August, we had about 159 waterfront residences for sale. That dropped in 2021 to 114. Where are we now? I'm gonna, my numbers are gonna get off a little bit, so sorry for my bad scaling. But right now we have about 125 waterfront residences for sale on Lake Martin, and that's all agents, all brokerages everywhere. So it is actually up 10%. So inventory is up 10% from last year, but sales are down 23% from last year. So that's a difference of about 33%. I do think it has affected prices. I don't think prices are continuing to go up. I think they've stabilized. But this is a normal market trend. If you study real estate markets throughout the whole country, um, there is very logical that you'll have uh, numbers of homes sold are going down while prices are going up, which happened in 21. And then the next thing that happens is sales, when sales start to dip, prices flatten, and that's what happens. So um, inventory-wise, um, I just want to kind of continue to underscore like this is again my scales are off but there are 200 if i get this top off uh our five-year average my scales off is about 250 waterfront residences for sale and that's again homes condos townhomes so we're still at about a half of our normal inventory okay so we're still we can still say we're at low inventory levels but we can definitely say that sales are dropping the big story of the past two years was we're sales dropping because we don't have as much to sell. Well, it, that's not the case now with homes. Um, all right, so what is happening with lots? And this is what I thought was really interesting this month. So I'm continuing, I'm gonna try to highlight it. But so what's happened with uh, lots? So I'll just go ahead and use my blue. Um, what's going on? Our inventory levels with lots, they're at about 121 back in 2020. They dropped to 66 in 2021. Where are they now? About 61, okay? So our waterfront lot inventory has dropped the past three years, which is interesting to say. And I wanna see what, what our sales have done. In 2020, which was like far and away, again, our number one lot sales is year as well. Through the end of August, we had about 74 lots sold. 21 was even better through August, 85 waterfront lots sold. Where are we now? We're at 66. We've, so the, all agents, all brokerages, all MLS has sold 66 waterfront lots through the end of August. So that is a decrease. Um, I hadn't done my math, so sorry y'all. I don't know, decrease of maybe about 25% uh, with similar inventory levels. So difference of five, it's pretty much the same, okay? So a difference of five gives us a decrease of sales, about 25%. Um, and where do I think, oh, I, have to, I, I, I forgot to say this on homes. I'm gonna go backwards. Um, I wanna, I'm kinda, I wanted to look and see where, all we're, where we're headed with, with the uh, home sales and um, make two points that I forgot to make. I look really closely at year-to-year -year sales. Did August of this year beat August of last year, et cetera, et cetera. Here are two big stats, seven. Seven is the amount of consecutive losses we've had to the prior year. Seven months in a row we've lost to the prior year. And again, that prior year wasn't the best, 2020 was. 
Here's another stat. 15 out of the last 20 lot, uh, now the, again, I'm back on home sales, 15 of the last 20 months we've lost to the prior year. So that's why I think we are definitely trending down. Now, does that mean a big disaster? No, it doesn't. It just means we're cooling off from like super ridiculous nuclear plaid speed to a still a fast market. And we're still, we're, I think we're still in a seller's market, but we're just slowing down because 15 of the last 20 months have lost to the prior year. Uh, we are on pace this year for home sales, I think, to sell about 324 homes per year. That, doesn't, that number might not mean much. In, two, in 20, we end up about 430. But, that, but if we end up at about 324 home, waterfront home residence sales this year, this could be an okay year. You know, pretty good in the last, I'd say, top eight or so. So, you know, pretty solid, good home year, okay? So, now, sorry to bip it back and forth with you. So, lot sales, similar story, decreasing sales, similar inventory. Where are we going to end up? I think for lot sales, we're going to end up at about 92, uh, 92 lot, waterfront lot sales per year because we're, we're pretty close to our five-year average. Our five-year average through the end of August is about 61. So that's where we're headed. We're just kind of right at our five-year average. I think we're going to end up at about 92, and that's going to end up being fourth best ever, right? So lot sales-wise, I think we're going to have a better year than home sales-wise. Um, but this, all, this number here and these sales numbers here all depend on one big huge factor and that is the Heritage. The Heritage is a brand new neighborhood that Russell Lands, it's the biggest developer on the lake, really the only developer on the lake because they own a lot of land. The, uh, it all depends on how many of their sales they put in the MLS because that's what I'm drawing from is the MLS. And so um, we're going to come back to that question later. Another question I get a lot, because um, I want to deep dive with lot sales, is how many, uh, what are the prices for lot sales? So from, uh, I broke it down again, this is through the end of August, these are the eight months ended. Uh, we had one lot sale between zero and 100,000. Between 101 and 200,000, we had 11. Between 200,000 and uh, 300,000, five. 300 to 400,000, we had six. All right, here, here's where it gets, starts getting interesting. $400,000 to $500,000, we had 13 sales, our biggest so far. $500,000 to $600,000, we had eight sales. And over $600,000, we had 18 sales. And that, if you add it up, that's about, I don't know, about 62 or so. My numbers might be off a tad bit. But anyway, you get the picture. Because this is about 1.6%. This is about 18%. This is 8%. This is 10% right here. So we had 21%, and so I'm thinking, okay, well, that's going to be our biggest lump right there. No, because we've got 13% here, and then in the over $600,000 category was a whopping 29% of our sales so far through August. Now, I compared that. I did the same exercise last year, and I, and I checked it out. And last year, about 22% of our sales were between 200 and 300,000. And then it went like 18%, 18%. So between 200 and $500,000, and then 101 to 200 was you know, a hefty one, like let's say 16%. But basically, between 200 and $500,000 was the bulk of our sales, because that's 48% of your sales right there. So that's, but here, look how we've spread out. It has pushed way up, and it's not just in this over 600 category either. It pushed way up, and you got into the 500 to 600. So, it is shifting way up this year, which really intrigued me when I saw something like that. So it inspired me to kind of dive deep, a little deeper into the lot sales numbers to see what's behind this. All right, so here's my deep dive into lot prices. And so it just kind of made me curious, what was the number one lot sale? The number one lot sale so far for this year, the eight months ended of 2022, El Numero Uno, I don't guess you're supposed to start with number one, but I'll do it, was $3.1 million. That might be a record. I have to check, but I'm pretty sure. I know that some, some larger land has sold before in that price range, but as far as just a lot, that might be the number one ever. $3.1 million, and it's in the heritage, Russell Land's new neighborhood. Number two was $1.5 million, also in a Russell Land's neighborhood, 
called Windermere West. It's an older neighborhood, uh, primarily developed in the 90s, the late 90s. And then number three was a $1.3 million sale in Willow Point. The granddaddy of them all, it was Russell Land's very first neighborhood that they developed, um, starting like back in the very early 70s, 1.3. One, the, and then the fourth coming in, and, and, and usually fourth place is like, <laughs> whatever, fourth place. When fourth place is 1.2, you're doing great. It's also the heritage. So that kind of spurred me to think, is the heritage skewing all these numbers up? Um, the, the thing we looked at earlier, like those 18 sales over $600,000, is this heritage skewing those up? So I looked, and the heritage is, is three of the 18, okay, so it's three of those over $600,000, and it's only three of the six, approximately 62 waterfront sales that have happened. So my answer is yes. I think the, um, the heritage is not only is it skewing our, I don't even run average numbers, but it's, it's skewing those bands up, but I think the heritage is lifting all waters, okay? Uh, or it's the tide is lifting all boats is the, is the cliche. Here's, but here's the odd thing about it. Russell Lands, like I said, is there, it's the largest developer on the lake. They own a lot of land around the lake. And so sometimes they run the numbers through the MLS, sometimes they don't. That's their prerogative as the developer. So, um, it's, so depending on how many sales we have in the MLS is going to totally depend on how many sales they choose to disclose inside the MLS because I know there are other, they've sold way more than three lots. I know because I talk to people, right? And that's, again, that's their prerogative to not list it in the MLS. However, I am saying that most of the time when I have these numbers, I'll say, hey, there are developer sales and there are FISBO sales, but you know, pretty much this is going to be a good number. This year, with the heritage, because they are keeping some of them out, I do think this number of 62-ish sales is low. I do think that 18 uh, lots over the $600,000 amount, I think that's low, just because it doesn't include all the heritage stuff. So that'll, that'll, it will remain to be seen what they put in the MLS and what they don't. But these are some really nice lots. It is a really nice neighborhood. So, um, hey, kudos to them. Um, the low number, I'm going to keep from you. All right, I'd love to see uh, wherever you're watching this video, guess and see what the low amount was. If you're paying attention to the uh, video earlier, you'll know what it approximately is. But why don't you guess in the comments as to what the lowest amount lot price was so far this year. If you would like any more help with this, I sell real estate here full time. This is what I do. I don't do anything else. And I would love to help you out either on the selling side or the buying side. Times they are changing. So sellers, have your heads up. This market is changing. Is it automatically turning bad? No, but it is in a, in a change, I think, that makes you, as a seller, really wanna pay attention to what you're doing and also where you're marketing your stuff. I would love to help you out because now there's not many people that do video. I don't know why, but they still don't. Buyers, I would love to help you out as well because uh, if there's anything you need in a changing market time, and that is info, and there's somebody that has local knowledge and has been around, and that's me. I'd love to help you out. Thanks.